Hey, lucky us. Guess where we are? Well, maybe you can tell. We're at Brian Fuller shop. And we're going to come in and take a look and see what's going on inside there. So let's go inside. Hey, Brian Fuller. Welcome to the shop party. Glad you can make it. All right, I got to get back to work. All right. Back to work, everybody. <laughs> and he wasn't kidding. He's putting me into work, too. <laughs> hey, Brian, where are you going? I get my hair cut, you know. Get your ears lowered. That's a very nice little bike. Lots of engraving and stuff on it. Brian's gonna go get his ears lowered. And the day just started. Yeah, I'm always interested in how people structure their work. And you notice behind me here, Brian has on the wall how he structures his work. His mission is creating usable works of art that inspire and entertain people. And up above that is <laughs> do what you say you're going to do, which is always good advice. Below this, he's got all this little picture of a Thundertaker. Yeah, that, that caddy we were looking at earlier, quite nice. And uh, things, tactical things that he does. Four pictures a day, put the phone down. Make every hour count, lock everything up strong, da 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 da, take pride in the fact that you finished the job right. These are all the things that he goes and believes in his shop for creating usable works of art that inspire and entertain people. Now, this is the Indian ambassador, and for those of you that know Indians, you know what that is, and those of you that know Moto Goosey Ambassadors, you know what they are. And this is a mixture of the two. And this is going to be one good looking bike, it looks like. Yes, indeed. Quite nice. We can follow this one online at uh, uh, Brian Fuller's uh, website. Cafe Racer. Uh, 68 Commando. 68 Commando. Whoa. They didn't look like that when I was a boy. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to get the full treatment. Yeah, this looks pretty nasty. Yeah, something about a Norton motor, though. It's very nice. Yeah, they have really good lines. That's nice. I got Brian back from getting his ears lowered. Brian, let me see if you got your money's worth. Oh, yeah. Better. Oh yeah, looks good. An up close view of the 500 at uh, Brian Mike's seat. The Boston boys uh, rode the tail of Dragon on, and it's a nice little bike. Got a lot of uh, metal work on it. I'll give you a close up view of that in just a minute. A little open stuff. I'll give you a close up of the tank and some really nice work in there. Very, very nice metal work. Very nice metal work all over this bike. On the tank, on the headlight, everywhere. Even on the front forks. Maybe we'll have Brian tell us a little bit more about the bike mechanically, but looks fairly stock other than the single-sided swing arm and all the other work on it. Oh yeah, that's stock tight. So very nice little bike. Just back from a haircut, so it is a um, real live, usable, streetable bike. Well, we're sitting here waiting to get ready to get ready. And I'm just sitting here, I noticed there's a guy sitting next to me, Larry. And Larry? Hello. Tell me about what you do. I'm a beer importer. Uh, I import this beer called Hobgoblin. We're one of the uh, sponsors of the event tonight. Ooh, sponsor. Yeah, this Hobgoblin is a plug, is, right? Yep, exactly. Hobgoblin is from Oxford, Sherry England, um, from the Witchwood Brewery, and they're one of the sponsors of the event tonight. English Ale, you know, for this fine vintage uh, motorcycle event. Cool. Now tell us about this thing you got coming up in Chicago in June. 
Chicago, uh, I'm the organizer of Mods vs. Rockers Chicago, which is on June 15th and 16th this year. And it's a big vintage motorcycle event. And this year we have Lee Rocker from the Stray Cats headlining. Damn. Yeah. So not just a record player sitting out in the middle. No, exactly. Of the street. <laughs> right. We actually have uh, have rockabilly and uh, and beer and uh, a pinup contest for oh, entertainment. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Do they play both kinds of music? Country and Western? Exactly. Country and Western. <laughs> That's a Blues Brothers live. That's what Rockabilly is, right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's it. Well, we're going to show you some more of what goes on, so just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Now, this is another Wouldn't You Like to Be Terry Hopkins moment. I'm sitting on a couch, as you can see, out in front of uh, Brian Fuller's place, reading the Hot Rod magazine getting ready to light up one of my number 59 throwouts, commercial plug here, that I smoke, and uh, enjoying life. So it don't get too much better than this, guys. It really doesn't. <laughs>